The second judgment is the cross. In Romans chapter 3, verses 23 and 24, at what I consider the pinnacle of the argument of the book of Romans, Paul the Apostle declares clearly that Jesus Christ, through his blood sacrifice, has supplied three marvelous blessings. He has supplied the judgment on himself. It's called justification. This picture is justification now. At this point, it says that also we have been redeemed. According to the scriptures, we are in bondage to sin. We're in bondage to the law. We're in bondage to condemnation. We've got no freedom at all. We're all slaves. And Jesus Christ brings us freedom. He breaks the bonds. It's called redemption. The word redemption there is the Greek word apolutrosis that was used in ancient times to describe the redemption of a slave who had been bought free. And Jesus bought us free from sin, from condemnation, from judgment, and he has given to us life. And finally, he says that Jesus' death on the cross propitiated God. That means that wrath of God has been satisfied. So we have been, through the work of Christ, God has satisfied the justice of God, and Christ has also satisfied the wrathful judgment of God against sin. And he's also provided for us a freedom, a redemption. So I would picture that judgment in the form of a cross and a crown. This is a cross made by my neighbor. I've been witnessing to him and I think he's a believer and he's made little things like this and he handed it to me as a gift to remind me and him as well of that focal point in all of history that Jesus Christ died on the cross in our place. The crown is another symbol. This is actually a wreath crown. It's called, a, the Greek word is the word stephanos, and we'll talk about it later in the lesson today. But the wreath crown was also put on Jesus during his trial. And the wreath crown, the victory crown, they mocked him and said, you failed. You have not won. You're a loser. This is the crown of a loser. And Jesus wore the crown of a loser for you and for me. That's the sacrifice of Christ. That's the second judgment. 